Is this bottom? Okay, let's go. Okay, so um, this is just coming from like someone who wants to go to med school. So what you're gonna do if you're gonna come to Canada, I ha highly, highly recommend that you finish high school in Canada because there are so many advantages. Um, there's definitely like, for example, if you want to go to Western in London, Ontario, there is the, this advantage, especially in Southern Ontario, that they give you like lower cutoffs on scores and stuff like that. So definitely finish high school in Canada, in Ontario, and specifically like Windsor, London. It's, it's really good. And then after that, you're going to want to apply to a university just to start your bachelor's. Now, you can do your bachelor's in anything. You can do your bachelor's in drama. You can do your bachelor's in computer science. Really anything that you're super passionate about. Look at this weird, right? Because like that's going to be really helpful if you get bachelor in science. It, it's really helpful. Exactly. It's okay. super helpful to do your bachelor's in science. But you can you just remember that you can minor in anything. You yeah, you're right. In chemistry, you can minor in math. Like it's really good to have that diversity and just kind of make sure that this is exactly what you want to do for sure. Okay. And then um, from there, for your first year, you, you just kind of take the classes, you go through the motions, you know, try to join a lot of clubs, you um, mm -hmm. try to put yourself out there, make sure you're building up your resume. Like you have so many activities going on, like you have, um, um, for example, research for me, research mm -hmm. for me is an amazing activity, I'm so happy I get to talk about it. Um, just try to join a lot of clubs really first year. Second year, honestly, I recommend writing the MCAT in your summer after the second year. And what the MCAT is, is it's a medical college examination test. And it's kind of the universal exam that all medical schools want from you to take. And it's not hard. It's not hard at all. Like for me, it's like it's review of the first two years. And that's why I recommend taking it after your second year. So there's a lot of genetics. There's a lot of biology. It's a lot of chemistry, too physics and um, it's a little bit of comprehensive and what the comprehensive is it's it's really nothing you need to worry about they will just give you a passage um, the author is going to argue something like for example um, how poverty affects you know a certain country for example and they'll give you kind of questions that ask you to kind of give an answer whether the statement agrees with what the author is arguing about so it's not hard at all, honestly. And from there, if you'd like, if you do really well too, you can apply after your second year. You can apply in your third year and you can probably go straight to med school. I know that University of Ottawa does it. Um, I'm pretty sure Toronto does it. I'm not sure about a lot of other schools, but those two schools, they're really, really good. Um, okay. And then, but if you'd like, if you don't feel like you did well in your second year summer, you can do it always in third year summer. And after third year summer, that's when everyone typically applies because they have their GPA straightened out. You know, first year uh, university, it's, maybe it doesn't go well for everyone. Like I, for me, like it wasn't my best year. So I definitely want to finish, you know, third year and then fourth year and then, you know, maybe mm -hmm. kind of later. But event. like, that's a good practice if you do it in second year, right? It's absolutely good yeah. practice. Definitely. And then uh, when you like uh, how they choose you, you like, I mean, um, in terms of universities, how they choose you? So they choose you. So a lot of universities have kind of like specific requirements. So, for mm -hmm. example, Ottawa, they want your comprehensive score only and then your GPA. Oh. Yeah. And so once those two are good, they'll ask you in for an interview. And then once you get accepted and, you know, once you're done your interview, they'll choose you based on your interview and your car score, your comprehensive score. Um, I believe McMaster's does that too. They only want your comprehensive score, but other schools definitely want everything, the entire package. But you, so for example, Toronto, they don't want you to do the best. They don't want you to get, to get like a full score. They only want you to meet a cutoff. So for example, like, I think a cutoff for one section, for example, chemistry is 125 out of 132, I think. So once you meet the cutoff, like the, it's just based on your GPA and then they invite you in for an interview for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Uh, so this is how it works. Uh, you need to finish your high school, then grade 12, and then any subjects in, the, in bachelor or like when you get like, you don't need to get bachelor. So second year, third year, you can just, just go through the exams. Exactly. And then, uh, that's it. So imagine that you don't, you uh, pass the exam in third year then what's happening next so a lot of people are very persistent and uh you know they're they're resilient and i really like it um i might have to do i don't know like 
hopefully it doesn't come to that. But what happens is, is that you get your score, I think a month or two months after you write the exam. So say you're writing it in the summer, I think you get it, you know, say July, I think you get it in September, somewhere mid September. And that's when you decide, you know, does this score meet the cutoffs? Do I want to do better? Right. And then once you decide you can do better you have a limit a life limit of writing the exam seven times which i'm sure nobody ever finishes you know writing seven times and that's it they can't apply so you can write it as many times as you want really i think it's two times maximum in a year so if you write it in july of say 2020 you can write it twice in 2021 so, you know, it's, it's really flexible that way. And like, you know, it gives you ample time to like review, go over some things that you might've missed during the exam. Um, yeah, definitely. It's like, it takes four months, traditionally, like four months to study everything, you know, make sure there's a lot of practice too. There's a lot of good resources. Um, there's Kaplan, there's all sorts of like, you know, books that teach you how to take the exam. So, you know, you're they're not gonna... like, they're online resources or... There's online too. There's definitely okay. online, but I highly recommend getting the books. Highly, highly okay. recommend the books. Yeah. 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 Write on it and like, you know, like it, it, it definitely preps you. The books also come with online resources. So it's really good. Uh, and then do you have any information for pharmacy or like they have the same exams, right? Like you want to become so, a dentist. Or so dentistry, they have their own exam. It's not MCAT. It's called the DAT. And I think that's oh. dental admission test i think um and so it's similar but it's actually easier than the mcat oh. it's much easier much easier i don't think they have orgo i think that's the difference <laughs> i don't think they have organic chemistry i think that's the difference um, so then uh, a lot easier <laughs> exactly <laughs> okay but orgo but like you know it's just it, it is easier because it's less content and then for pharmacy there's also a separate test it's called the pcat and i think that's pharmacy, pharmacy yeah <laughs> Yeah, I don't know the acronym, but it's it's for pharmacy. And I think it's the same exact process. You can take it in your second year. I have a friend actually who uh, wants to apply to pharmacy school. She's taking her exam second year. It's so like her summer of second year. And uh, she, like me, she wants to get like a preparation, kind of like a, just to see how what the environment feels like and stuff like that. Um, similar process for pharmacy though you do need one essential course like you definitely need to be chemistry based with your all the that courses. makes sense yeah right yeah and then integral math I don't know why but you need integral calculus I don't yeah, know why. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. so it seems like more uh, difficult like compared to uh, medicine and like the, with the prerequisites for sure the prerequisites for sure but the test itself is not that hard it's really okay. no okay. test is hard like unless like you study for it and like you practice for it. right okay yeah so you register on the aamc website and then you pick a date and so you kind of go to like the nearest testing center they'll they'll see where your current location is and you can go to the nearest te testing center i'm not i think there is like worldwide options like i'm sure that there is i'm sure like I remember someone wrote it in Saudi Arabia, like there, as long as, you know, there's a verified testing center and there's like a proctor there, you can write it. And mm -hmm. so the exam is on, I think it's like on a computer actually. And you have to select it, you know, with the mouse and it's like multiple choice. Everything is. Okay. Multiple. It's a multiple choice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is multiple choice. Um, traditionally it takes like seven hours to get through the exam with one half an hour break. But now because of like coronavirus and stuff, they're shortening it to five hours with no break. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's still too long. And uh, you said, but uh, there's a like comprehensive part. That one is not multiple choice, is it? It is, is it? multiple choice, yeah. That so one is also? Oh, okay. It is multiple choice, yeah. Because they don't, I think it would just, you know, be too much for each really like greater to like go through each short answer. And they want to make it, you know, as fair as possible. Like, you know, like they want to specific criteria is like multiple choice. Like it's easy. Like you get the right answer. Or you don't. Mm -hmm. so, Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you for yeah, uh, no the information. Problem. Yeah. Thank you so much. I think I'm going to start it. Stop it right now. Okay. <laughs>